Well, I just think that it's a uh, chance for the team and the staff to come together without a lot of outside distractions to go through a fairly grueling process that has a tendency to bond you, uh, bring you together closer, and then of course uh, to keep your total focus, you know, the building of your program and as a player the building of your fundamentals, uh, getting your schemes in, putting everything together, there's just not a lot of distractions. And, and you know, the season comes pretty quickly and to get uh, a team ready uh, is, is, is difficult and uh, so I think this is a necessary process. Well, there's a lot of positives from last year. I mean, first of all, you know, in week nine of the season, we're playing for a conference championship. We're on ESPN game day here at Boston College on our campus playing Clemson for the conference championship in week nine. That's, that's pretty good. We were one of the most explosive teams on offense in our conference, which is maybe the most elite conference in college football. With the 14th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Chris Lindstrom, guard, Boston College. We had a chance to watch several players from our program last year. Four drafted, 10 free agents go on and have an opportunity to go play at the next level in the NFL, which I think speaks to your culture and your recruitment and your development. There was a lot of great things that happened last year. I thought our culture was at an all-time high, and that means that that standard was set for the younger players. You know, there's, there's plenty of other statistics to go around and talk about some of the great things that happened last year, but we had set a lot of different records on offense, a lot of different things that had happened that hadn't happened here before. We've won some big games on the road. We've got to build upon it. We've got to be able to sustain excellence throughout the whole season. So that, that's a focus. They embrace the traditions and honor of those who played before them, knowing that any height can be reached. Throws it down. Booty, 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 booty. Cut, 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 Boston College. Cut. I don't believe it. Cut, cut. the Eagles, win it, win it, win it, win it. Upholding the values of compassion, integrity, and service for their families, their teammates, and their school. They leave here prepared for any field. This is what makes college football so fun. They put on the maroon and gold, knowing that not everyone can play here, as at their core, they are true student athletes. This is heart. This is pride. This is worth cheering for. This is Boston's college. Welcome to Boston College Football. Decide to fly. Hello, I'm Anthony Brown. Hi, I'm AJ Dillon. Welcome to Boston College Football. Decide, Decide to fly. Welcome back to Decide the Fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm AJ Dillon. And I'm Anthony Brown. We're here to break down the offense. I, I know you forgot, <laughs> bro. I know you forgot. Our offense to everyone that watches us would be a pro style offense, heavy run style, because this big guy here. Dillon at the five. Dillon, turf the goal line. Dylan is in! What a run! We throw a mix of spread in there, so it's kind of a mix. And a very fast tempo, um, especially for being a, we're a no huddle team that isn't a spread team, which is kind of unusual. It's very unique. Yeah. Anthony mentioned we were 23 in the country. Pretty sure we got all the way up to 17th at one point. Um, the first time BC's been ranked in years. College game day came to town for Clemson. Um, it was the first time for me, at least, that the atmosphere around BC was so uh, so focused around BC football and everybody was excited to come to the games. And that's something we look to continue. Um, and that's why any player wants to go to a major Division I college football school to have that type of atmosphere and have that effect on the community. Walker has a wall. 
Down the sidelines, galloping free. Michael Walker all the way home. Chris Lindstrom. So obviously, uh, this last season we had a couple of guys on the team uh, able to make their dreams come true and go play in the go and play in the NFL. A few of those guys, everyone should know, because you know you're watching this show, right? Um, Chris Lindstrom, Aaron Montero, Jeff Smith, Tommy Sweeney, Mike Walker. We really miss those guys. Uh, we wish them the best in their upcoming seasons with the teams that they're at, and I hope they're excited for us because we're definitely excited for them. And let's talk about the offense now. Yeah. In the quarterback room, we have myself, Anthony Brown, Matt Vallecci, Dennis Grossell, Sam Johnson, and we've got Dalen Menard, young freshman from Florida. Anthony Brown's had just a fantastic uh, winter, spring, and summer. And uh, here's a guy that's still got two years eligibility remaining, but he's got a tremendous amount of experience, and that's what you're looking for in your quarterback, a guy that's played a lot of ball and been in a lot of competitive, tough moments. And Anthony's done that. And uh, I think this is a great opportunity for him to really take a step forward. So in the running back room, uh, we have myself, A.J. Dillon. Uh, we also have David Bailey. Bailey to the five, Bailey to the end zone! Touchdown, Boston College! He's really looking forward to having a great year this year. Uh, JV and Dane. We also have uh, Benny Glind and Travis Levy, who also uh, are playing receiver too, a little scat back action. And the freshman, we got uh, Quinn Stott, and we also have uh, Patrick Garwell. Running back position, of course, we have A.J. Um, and he's had a great offseason, tremendous spring, tremendous summer, and a great start to camp. I think one of the great surprises there is David Bailey, who I shouldn't say surprise, we knew he would be, but he's now a sophomore. He's in phenomenal shape. He's another, like AJ, he's a 250-pound back. Very, very talented. And then, of course, Ben Glines and Travis Levy figure in there as well, so it gives us a tremendous amount of uh, depth and experience at that position and, it, and we have size and yet and we have explosive capability I mean you know AJ's dominated a game Travis Levy's won games for us on the road at the running back position so I feel like we have great talent the tight end room is stacked uh, we got a bunch of guys with a lot of experience a bunch of guys who are highly capable and to name off a few we got uh, Chris Garrison we have Jake Burt. Looking for the throw back to the tight end. And it's there for the touchdown. Jake Burt. A lot of playing experience, been here a long time. These are two elite players. It's Robert Drizzy from New Jersey. He's played a lot of football here, elite player. Those are three guys that could play anywhere in the conference. Hunter Long is another young guy who played some last year, who is, will play a ton this year. And he might have the highest ceiling of all of them. We go deep at the tight end position. And of course, we need to go deep there because we play with two on every snap. But we, we're really strong at tight end. We lost Tom Sweeney. And Tom was phenomenal, but we don't feel like we're going to drop one bit there. You know, our numbers and our depth there will make us even stronger. And we have a ton of young guys and getting ready to go. People have mentioned that, well, we lost some good linemen. We sure did but we've got some good linemen. We feel like we have a chance to be as good or better than we were a year ago up front. Then we have the offensive line room, big boys. Start off with John Phillips. We can just keep going back. Oh, yeah, so yeah, say John Phillips one more time. So John Phillips. Ben Petrula. Nate Emmer. Alec Lindstrom. Anthony Palazzolo. Dwayne Scott. Tyler Vrabel. And many other talented other linemen, so. They've been, they've been working really hard this offseason, so I'm excited to run behind them. Excited for them to block for me, so. <laughs> These are guys that, that, that can flat play. And then we have a host of other guys here. That I, I'm not going through every lineman right now, but we're very excited about where we are in the offensive line. Three, four, five. So on offense, we have a few coaches from New Jersey, and it's great to me. I love to hear that because I'm from New Jersey. Um, coach Gannell, our wide receivers coach, offensive coach. I'm glad, I'm glad you hit him because I felt him land. All right. That's um, a good transition in the receivers. Which leads us into naming some of them. Uh, obviously, you got to start off with Kobe White. Fourth and seven, they go for it. And a diving catch made by Kobe White. That is huge. It's caught by Kobe White. Outstanding. Outstanding football player, really excited. 
about Kobe. At the goal line and in. Touchdown, Boston College. Kobe White. And Benny Glines. And Travis Levy. We've taken Ben Glines and Travis Levy, Levy, who play both running back and wide receiver. And those are elite guys. They're elite competitors. They'll be amongst the best in the conference. Uh, C.J. Lewis is another guy that we, we felt is, is, is at the time in his career where he can explode. He's a big six foot four guy, great range and speed. We're, we're incredibly excited about him. C.J. Lewis! Ethan Williams. Bryce Sebastian. Elijah Robinson. Zay Flowers. Christian McStravick. A lot of talented guys in there. And I'm excited to see them play this year. I mean, we have some incoming young players that we think could be electric. So we feel like we have great speed at the wide receiver and some experience out there, and we're excited about them. This year, fans that are watching uh, should expect a really high-powered offense, uh, not one-dimensional. Uh, I feel like we're able to do it all, and uh, I'm, pretty, I'm excited to kind of just show everybody that uh, we're, we're one of the best in the country. You said it. Hi, my name is Maximilian Richardson III. I play linebacker, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I want to welcome you back to Boston College Football's Decide to Fly. And I'm here to talk to you about the defense. And he'll be sacked. Richardson, the linebacker. When I walk onto this field, I immediately think about everything I've done to get here. A Boston College player on defense is to be a dangerous man, and what we consider a dangerous man is, is built on your effort, is built on your toughness, is, and is built on what you do every day in the building. Lawrence thought about going downfield, gets sacked. When we think about last year, we finished the year off with a, a three-game losing streak and the bowl game being canceled. So for me, there is a, a, a bad taste in my mouth, but that only feeds to our motivation, feeds to our work, work ethic, and feeds to our uh, our passion about this upcoming season. Some of the highlights from last season defensively were the ACC wins at home versus Miami. I'll tell you what, this BC secondary, Jim Reed was right talking about it. They are feisty. Going down to Blacksburg and beating beating Virginia Tech. Uh, and that's the kind of games that Steve Adazio loves. He's built its team to be tough and physical, and they were again tonight. We did some schematic things that helped us and we executed and we played with great effort. Me personally, uh, the, the biggest games are the ones that are in front of us that week, but, but for me, uh, what I enjoyed was the, the environments uh, at, that we had uh, playing Clemson here at home for college game day, playing Miami for the Red Bandana game, which is a great cause. On defense, Coach Adazio, he coaches effort, he coaches motor, and, and, he's, in, uh, and he's just a, an amazing motivator for, uh, for all the uh, men on the team. Obviously, we're young. Um, we have a lot of guys that will be playing, you know, uh, substantial amount of snaps for the first time. Uh, we've got a fair amount of guys that have played a lot of snaps, though. Right now, our defensive leader is Coach Bill Sheridan, and he is, a, uh, he is the best teacher of the game in the business. He's taught our defense more things than, uh, than we, we can even know, and he is also a, a man of principle. He does everything by the book. What Coach Sheridan brings to the defense is a, a different techni uh, technicality that uh, everybody is focused on their assignment, kind of like what the Patriots do in, in their do your job uh, coin phrase. But we, we take it upon ourselves to make sure that every single person is doing their job and not worrying about anything else other than executing their job at the to the best of their ability with the, the best effort they can give. Here, balancing it, balancing it, push, push, push. Ball shows up, trying to two-get. The defensive uh, uh, players that moved on to the NFL were uh, in the secondary. Lucas Dennis, he was our free safety. Will Harris was our strong safety. At linebacker, Connor Strahan was our starting Mike. And then on the D-line, we had Ray Smith. Zach Allen and Wyatt Ray go on to the NFL. And, and what changes uh, this year is that we may not have the, uh, the amount of guys uh, as seniors in, in, his, in starting roles. However, how we're gonna replace that is, is playing as a unit and playing with a different type of mode or a different mentality, a different tenacity. And that's how we're gonna how we're gonna replace those guys. Everything you got, everything you got. Hey, hey, this is lead that man. Family on three, one, two, three, family. Boston College is, it is a program uh, that plays at the highest level and it is a program that develops players competing at the highest level in all of football.
you get to the NFL from here by working hard, continuing to do your job every single day, coming in the building with a good attitude, and all these things are, that, that you do to get to the NFL are the controllables. What you can control is your attitude, what you can control is your effort, what you can control is your work ethic, and then the rest will take care of itself. What I've learned from some of the guys who are my best friends who've gone on from Boston College to the NFL is that if you, if you control what you can control and give the effort and put in the extra time, you, you will have a shot at, at being successful here. And if you have a shot at being successful here, then you will have a shot at the NFL. Ray comes again and he gets another one. Just blew right by the right tackle. The defensive line is led by coach Jim Reed. They have a lot of young talent. However, they have a three-year starter returning in Tanner Carafa, and he is a, a true BC man. He works hard, he plays hard, he gives everything he's got to this program, and he's able to offer a lot of insight and uh, older game experience leadership to the younger guys. Wow, under pressure. Find time, and then blown up. Tanner Carafa, the nose tackle. We brought in Richard Jurgen. Uh, from Clemson and Lee suffered a uh, car car accident which which he had a serious injury and he's been out of football for two years but he's had a great summer and we're excited about what he's bringing to the table right now. Oh boy a big hit delivered by Richard Yergin. Although he's not familiar with the BC program he's able to offer a lot of insight in what it takes to be a be a part of something great. In the linebacker room we have coach Bill Sheridan who's also the defensive coordinator Senior-wise, we have myself and John Lamont. And off the hands of Dubois. And John Lamont, the pick six. We're both two-year starters here, and we've been able to offer the young guys a lot of uh, insight in what it takes to play linebacker in the ACC. And, and there's a lot of leadership from the younger guys, too. Isaiah McDuffie, we have Benny De Palma, Joe Sparacio. They're all doing great, working hard, and offering a lot of leadership to the entire room and, and also the team. Leading the secondary, we have Coach Eric Lewis, and he this is his first year here, but he is a high-energy guy. He's a, a, a good motivator for the uh, DBs. And in their room, it's a lot of talent. However, they do not have as much as many uh, seniors and game experiences. But they have they do have uh, two seniors coming back, Matty Elitrack and Mike Palmer. They're both able to offer some insight in what it takes to play in the BC secondary. There's also Brandon Sebastian, who was uh, a preseason all ACC. So it, it's looking good for them as well. Our strength right now is, is, is at our linebacker level. But I think we're talented in the back end with very exciting young players. And I think on the front end, we're the same. We're athletic. I think uh, our staff is outstanding. I think Bill Sheridan has done an outstanding job. And I think we'll be exciting to watch on defense. I love Boston College because it is a place that develops young, young, younger boys into men. I, I believe that, I wholeheartedly believe that if you come to Boston College with the right mindset and do the work, the, the young boys who come here, they leave as BC men. And that's, that's how I feel about this place. What we talk about as a BC man is faith, character, toughness, and passion. I think those are the, the pieces that we feel are critically important. And uh, so that obviously translates right into the program. And we do look for that in recruiting. And we try to develop that while we're here. We want young men to develop their faith, develop their toughness, develop their character, develop their passion. That's your job as a teacher, as an educator, as a coach, is uh, to bring young men in here and show semblance of these characteristics and build upon them. First of all, college football is amazing, right? It's, 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 it's the number two sport in America, right? Pro football and college football. But college football is the best of everything. And to be able to come out and watch guys that are truly student athletes, Okay? here at BC, I mean, they, they have to compete in that classroom. They are student athletes. We have a, a team full of high character guys that are truly represent what being a student athlete is, playing in the most competitive conference on the most competitive side in college football. And they're talented and they're exciting. And if you can't root for that, if you can't have a special place in your heart for that, then something's missing. You know, you're a, you're a sports fan, you're a football fan, you're a college football fan. I think this is the very best there is in college football because it represents at the highest level what college football should represent.
the bloopers on that one. <laughs> Hi, I'm AJ Dillon. Hi, I'm Anthony Brown. Welcome to Boston College Football. Decide, Decide to, to fly. fly. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, where was you at? I don't, I don't know. I, I forgot. I forgot. That's on me. It's on me. My bad. Welcome to Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it sound like he's too close? Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, that there's. <laughs> um, I don't. Ah. But you said he had a few kids. That sounds crazy. <laughs> he has a few kids. So I don't. Christian J. and his family. But, but okay, it, it makes him sound like he got kids all over the place. Quantum <laughs> as that. <laughs> Fundamentals. <laughs> I can't get this out. <laughs> okay. <And> we got. <laughs> oh, why is it so hard to put in words in front of the camera? That's all, folks. Hey, who says that? In the uh... come on now, Looney Tunes, man. Yeah, I know it's Looney Tunes. I'm saying, what's what's buddy's name? Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Elmer or something? Mm, Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd, uh, that's actually um, Bugs Bunny that says it. Oh, that's who, who said it? He goes, bah, 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 bah. That's, that's, that's a rap, folks. <laughs> yes, okay. No, he, no, he said the pig. He said the pig. The pig stutters. Yeah, that's the pig. <laughs> yes.